Hey. Why don't you, uh, relax? you watch I Love the 90s last night? Uh, no. It was a rerun. 1998. It's a good year. That was the year I dropped out of college and my dog died. You need to forget your memories. You get the ones from TV. 1998 is not what you would call a renaissance of science fiction, with movies like Deep Impact and My Favorite Martian. But there was at least one amazing film, Dark City. The director's cut just came out on DVD, and I highly recommend it. F. Scott Fitzgerald wrote that in the real dark night of the soul, it is always three o'clock in the morning, day after day. Likewise, in Dark City, it's always the dead of night, night after night. The movie is filled with big ideas like, what if our reality is shaped by our memories and our memories are being controlled? It's pretty heavy stuff from the guy who directed The Crow. Rufus Sewell stars as a hard luck guy who's lost his memory and might be tied to a string of gruesome murders. Jennifer Conley is a sultry singer at a seedy nightclub. Kiefer Sutherland plays a mad scientist with a guilty conscience. But the real scene stealer is Richard O'Brien from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Director Alex Proyas had O'Brien in mind when he wrote the part of the sinister villain, Mr. Hand. No, not that Mr. Hand. Yeah, there he is. Thematically, Dark City mixes La Jete with The Wizard of Oz. Visually, it's inspired by movies like Brazil, Metropolis, and The City of Lost Children. Looking at the amazing sets, you get the impression that this is what Tim Burton wanted from his Gotham City. Despite the retro look, Dark City was ahead of its time, but 1998 audiences avoided it in favor of other period dramas like Titanic and The Wedding Singer. Ten years later, Dark City is still ahead of its time. I think even some of today's audiences might hate it. Like you, and you, and you. But there's got to be somebody out there who's going to love it, like, um, you! You're going to see it and be like, oh my god, that's like the story of my life. It was the awesomest movie. Okay, I'm glad you liked it. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see all of you next week. Sleep.